everyone, Taylor or that Taylor, if you guys aren't subscribed, go check her out. She tagged me to do the Secret Life of a YouTuber tag, and I thought that would be fun. I have the questions on my phone right here, so let's get started. Question one is, how long have you been on YouTube? And I have been on YouTube since, like, I've had my channel since, I think, December 2012, but I didn't start really, like, uploading videos, like, regularly until, I want to say, like, June 2013 when I went to Vegas that's when like I actually like started like okay I want to do YouTube and that's when I actually started so June 2013 so I've been on YouTube for like a year and a half number two is at what point do you think you'll stop and it's weird because once you start doing YouTube you kind of like that's kind of your a part of your life and like a who who you are so it would kind of be like me like stopping like who I am you know what I mean like when I'm not filming and when I'm not editing like I'm not really doing anything like people ask me like what my hobbies are and I'm like mm, editing like I don't know like that's pretty much all I do like I sit at home and watch Netflix and like I edit so I don't really know it would be really really strange if I I think like once you're on the internet you always have an online presence and if, like I will forever have an online presence now that like things are out there because it's infinite you know so <laughs> I'll always be on YouTube so I don't think I'll ever stop Number three is the best thing and probably the best thing is like connecting with you guys and I'm not just saying this just because like this is probably what everybody says but like literally like I will like ask a question and like I will get 20 responses to the same thing and it's just it's just like a like just this big like bowl of knowledge and it's so interesting to connect with different people from different parts of the world instead of you know only having to like I don't know, ask my friends, and I'm like, I don't want their opinions, I want your guys' opinions. So that's what I think is the best thing. It's just, it's nice to have a connection with other people in a different area of the globe. Four is the worst thing, and what to do to make it okay. And probably the worst thing for me is <laughs> editing on my 2010 MacBook with like the oldest iMovie like ever. I need a new computer so bad, but I just don't have money for a new computer. I mean, it's okay. It's doing its job, but it just like takes me forever to do one thing because it's just so old and how do I make it okay I don't make it okay I just I just deal on my channel I really I don't get a lot of hate comments it's really weird like I feel like maybe I'm missing like something that I'm not getting I'm not missing it but you know like it's just like my channel doesn't really get hate comments ever so it's very strange but I don't want hate comments ever so <laughs> let's hope, knock on wood I don't want to jinx that Number five is how many thumbnails do you usually take? And when I'm doing like a tutorial, I will do like one from this side, one from this side because the face, like my faces are very different, like the different sides. And then I'll do like a close up of this eye and then a close up of this eye because Lord knows that one eye could be better. And then I'll do like, you know, like something cute and then I'll do like a straight on. And that's when I'm doing like a makeup tutorial just because I take like photos for Instagram as well and then like thumbnails and whatnot. And then if I'm just doing like something like this, I'll just be like, eh you know and then like click <laughs> that's pretty much it and sometimes like if I forget to take an actual photo you know you can just like go through the reel and like sometimes it'll all like be like doing something cute like that or like posing or something and that'll be my thumbnail too so I don't know like 10 <laughs> I don't know a lot number six is youtuber crush I don't think I have a youtuber crush I don't know I feel like there aren't like a lot of like my type of guys out there on YouTube I don't know who's hot on YouTube that I'm into like honestly no one comes to mind right now no one at all nope I'm very picky and like very selective though so seven is who's on your collab wish list um like a zillion people I don't know I don't really have like a nested like a collab wish list but I would like to collab with everyone. I know I want to collab with you, Vince, and I know you're watching this, and I tell you in this thing as well. I want to collab with him. Um, yeah, I don't know, like a whole bunch of people. I have more free time now, so I have more time that I can actually collab with, so that's nice. Number eight is what are you wearing on your bottom half? And I'm wearing these, like, pants that I got from Greece. Can you see them? I'm, like, trying to hold up my leg. They're, like, these, like, harem pants. You see that? <laughs> I got them in Greece uh, three, four years ago or something, and they're just so comfy. Like, look at this is the crotch of them. They're, it's what I always wear when I film, and they're just really comfy. Nine is how long until you press record, and that's pretty much like I put my camera there, I open it up, turn on my computer, make sure that it's all, you know, working and I can see myself, and then I pretty much press record. 
but like to get ready I have to make sure my like cards empty and my battery is all charged up so I don't know like half an hour until I like get ready to film and then press record I don't know. Ten is how do you feel about the YouTube community slash culture and I think it's great I mean there's just like a plethora of people doing the exact well not the exact same thing but pretty much the exact same thing just trying to make it in this world and like when I was at BeautyCon like everyone's just so nice you know I think like a lot of like you guys and like other people really idolize these people and it's nice to know that they it doesn't really go to like their heads slash like our heads it's just kind of like we're just normal people sharing like knowledge with you guys and I think that it's really awesome that there's a platform to do that on um I'm just happy that I'm like somewhat a part of it 11 is what's your secret to a successful YouTube channel and I don't really think there's a secret to a successful YouTube channel I think you just have to find like where you fit in YouTube like for me it's like pale girls like all of my pretty much everyone is just like a pale girl or like people who um go to makeup school like that's pretty much who follows me um and I think you just have to find your audience and your crowd and that's kind of who like my target audience is other than that I really don't know I mean like when I started I had like the world's worst camera in the world I didn't know anything about lighting I mean I have a good camera now I'm still using natural lighting but I think I figured it out I think like people want videos that have good lighting good sound and like good quality and I think you know starting out you're not necessarily gonna have that but I think you can start a channel and build towards that I mean I invested in this mother of a camera so just put like the best quality stuff you can out there like you don't even know how many videos I filmed and I'm just like I'm not, just, I'm not I'm not gonna put this up it's probably like I probably filmed like 15 videos I'm just like no no thank you and like even like a couple weeks ago when my sound was horrible I filmed I think four videos that day I like posted on Instagram or was in my vlog or something and I just like threw them all out because the sound was so horrible I mean I'm gonna put good quality stuff out there even though I put my November favorites out there I wasn't gonna refilm that so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tag Kayla Hagee, Vin Effects, Vince, and Memes Couture, which is Mimi. I'll see you guys later. Mwah.